I'm sure all of you remember the ice storm and snow we had in February. You probably had to figure out many ways how to stay warm. One of my favorites is to grab a quilt and read a book. Hi, my name is Miranda Bonta. Today I'll show you how to make part of a quilt called a four patch block. Depending on the size of the quilt, many of these four patch blocks will be made. To make a four patch block, you will need these items. Scissors. Sewing machine. Thread. Two pieces of fabric. Square up roller. Safety glove. Wooden arm. Cutting mat. Straight pins. And a rotary cutter. You'll need to follow these steps to make a four patch block. Step one. Using a square ruler and a rotary cutter, cut a three inch strip from each piece of fabric. Step two. Place the fabric right sides facing. Step three. Sew a one fourth inch seam along the right edge. Step four. Using a wooden arm, press the seam toward the darker piece. Step five. Using the rotary cutter and ruler, cut two three inch pieces from the strip set. Step six. Place the pieces right sides together and sew using a one fourth inch seam. Step seven. Using the arm, press the seam to the side. Step eight. Using a square up roller, check to see that you have a five and a half inch block. When selecting fabrics for a four patch block, I like to choose contrasting <coughs> colors. Colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel work great. I've selected these two colors for this demonstration. Also selected these because I love these two colors together. First, cut a three inch strip from each piece of fabric. Put on your safety glove. Want to keep those fingers for later use. Get your first piece of fabric. Lay it on your cutting mat. Line up the three inch line on your roller with the edge of the fabric. Check your roller position. Open your rotary cutter and cut the end. Remember to close your rotary cutter. Lay it aside and get your next piece. Repeat that step again. Line up the three inch line, check your roller position, open your rotary cutter, and cut. Sometimes you don't always get it in the first swap, so do it again. Remember to close your rotary cutter. Take the two pieces, place them right sides together, and sew a one fourth inch seam. I call the right sides of the fabric the pretty sides. I like to use an extra guide on my sewing machine even though the machine has a guide built on it. I've placed this guide one fourth inch from the needle. This assures me that my seam allowance is accurate. I'm using matching thread for this project. I have my machine set on 2.0 which is about 15 stitches to the inch. Raise the pressure foot and put one end of the fabric just below the needle and lower the needle. When sewing my seams, I always start by the needle down. I hold the threads and gently hold as I begin to sew. This helps to prevent tangling of the thread. Every now and then, you will need to stop and check and make sure your fabrics are still lined up good. Then, just continue your sewing with your needle down. Continue sewing until you reach the end of the strip set. And again, stop and check and make sure everything is still lined up. Then continue your sewing. Raise the pressure foot and cut the thread. 